vehicles, and I'm gonna shred. Well, this ought to be rich. <laughs> yourself you're not gonna be up there because I am gonna be the face of Patty's bar that's ridiculous Frank you're um ugly what ugly I'm ugly yeah with that anteater nose you're telling me I'm ugly my nose was chiseled by the gods themselves Frank my body was sculpted to the proportions of Michelangelo's David you on the other hand well you're a pit of despair Frank, you disgust me. You disgust everyone. And you will never, ever be on that billboard. Hey, Frank, are you kidding me? God damn it, just one beer! Oh. It only takes one germ, D. Oh, Jesus. Of course, how anybody thinks that a germ could survive a scalding hot pizza is beyond me. <laughs> Oh, Dennis, you don't look good. Trust me, D. If I found myself getting sick, I would simply say, Sit this big down! Ah! This is bullshit! This is bullshit! I feel fine! You should stand over there, because I think I'm really getting the flu. Oh, I, I'm sick as a dog already. Oh, well, if you guys are getting sick, then stay away from me. Holy shit, dude. I think we need to call 911 for you. Hey, should we work on our harmonies? Seriously, dude? I think we need to get you to a hospital. Does that sound like a man who needs to be in a hospital? Yeah, dude, from the top. Motown, Motown feel. Oh! Why'd I hear a squeal? Oh, no, dude, why are you bleeding? Dennis scratched me. Mac was doing that thing where he tries to casually bring something up to me like I don't notice. Come to me like a man. Talk about being tough all the time. Can't even look me in the eyes. Okay. How's this for shoes, Charlie? Oh, no, Frank, come on, man. You're gonna get black paint everywhere. I've changed my mind about the stool. No, no stool. Stool's out. No way! It's just that it was my idea, Dennis. It's sort of like the, the jean shorts, you know, where you feel... Look at me when you're talking to me! Yo. Hey, buddy. Uh, I got some turpentine, some wax, and some high-gloss boat paint. This shit is really expensive. Oh, dude, yeah, you're telling me. I picked us up some new slacks and dock siders so we could have the right look, you know, and fit in and everything. We're running pretty low on remaining dictile money, though. Plus, we gotta fill that thing up with gas. I know, and... man. We gotta pop by the department store, pick up the mattress. And I'm gonna yeah. get a nice one, too. You know what I'm saying? But the, the what? The mattress? What do we need a mattress for? What do you mean, what do we need a mattress for? Why in the hell do you think we just spent all that money on a boat? The whole purpose of buying the boat in the first place was to get the ladies nice and tipsy topside so we can take them to a nice, comfortable place below deck and, you know, they can't refuse because of the implication. Oh, uh, okay. You had me go in there for the first part. The second half kind of threw me. Well, dude, dude, th think about it. She's out in the middle of nowhere with some dude she barely knows. You know, she looks around her. What does she see? Nothing but open ocean. Ah, uh, there's nowhere for me to run. What am I going to do? Say no? Okay, that, <laughs> <laughs> that seems really dark. No, no, it's not dark. You're misunderstanding me, bro. I'm, okay. I'm, I think I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> because if the girl said no, then the answer obviously is no. No. But the thing right. is, is she's not going to say yeah. no. She would never say no because of the implication. Now, you, you've said that word implication a couple of times. What, what implication? The implication that things might go wrong for her if she refuses to sleep with me. Now, not that things are going to go wrong for her, but she's thinking that they will. But it sounds like she doesn't want to have Why sex. Why aren't you with understanding? You? This? I don't. She she doesn't know whether she wants to have sex with me. It's that she doesn't. That's know. not the issue. Are so you going to hurt? Be a, women? I'm not going to hurt oh, these women. Okay. Why would I ever hurt these women? I, don't know. I feel like you're not getting this at all. I'm at not all. getting it. God damn. Well, don't you look at me like that. You certainly wouldn't be in any danger. So they are in danger. No one's in any danger. How can I make that any more clear to you? Difficult. Yeah, I feel you. I'm I'm already struggling with the lust thing. See this uh, flaxen-haired seductress across the pool over here? Dennis, she looks like she's 12 years old. Uh, she's of age. I check. Well, she's 
gallivanting around, you know, flaunting it for me. Yeah. And she knows how easy it would be for me to have her, too, because of the implication. Not that you would understand. It's not what you think it is. No, I think I get it. We're out in the middle of the ocean. She's stuck on a boat. She couldn't possibly say no, because something might go wrong for her if she did. That's, that's exactly what it is. How did you get that so fast? It's like when I'm alone with a guy and we're messing around and he gets all skittish about banging. So then I insinuate that it would be a shame if my account of what happened was different from his and then he ended up getting a call from the sheriff. You know what I mean? And then boom, we plow. Okay. Yeah, no, I, th I think I get it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right. My, uh, oh, whoa, see, oh. See, I don't like this storm, man. The storm's starting to freak me out. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. The storm is intensifying, and yet I remain calm in spite of the fact that this one here is dressed like this. That's just uh, crazy. This girl yeah, is with this sweat. He's been doing it all day. Can you, just, can you just drop it? Well, I would if she wouldn't always be sitting in my eye line. Then again, that is what she does. She wants me looking at her at all times. She's driving me nuts, I tell you. Maybe I'll send her a drink or something. Virgin daiquiri for the virgin. Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you there. Anyway, I, um, I should have introduced myself earlier. I'm the Daiquiri Man, but I suspect you already knew that, didn't you? Was it good? Was it sweet? I guess. Well, it either was or it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I had one too. It was, it was sweet. You seem sweet. Been watching you following you of sorts, you know, in a good way. So how'd you like that magic show? Do you enjoy magic? You know, I, I can do magic. Whoop. How did you get, get that? Get your license? Don't worry about it. 1996, though. That's good. That makes the cutoff. There you go. Yeah, I wasn't going to steal it. <clears throat> um, so how about this storm, huh? I think it's kind of cool, you know? Here we are on a boat, you know, out in the middle of, out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody would ever hear our screams and this wind. You know. Oh, <laughs> the thunder is really is throwing this whole thing off. You know, it's making everything I say seem sinister, which it's not intended to be. You know. What's yeah, up? I, I'm sorry. I have no, to no, 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 no. Sorry, no. It's there's nowhere to go. <laughs> there's really nowhere to go. You know, so. Why don't I uh, come in your room? <laughs> come in your room. That's not what I meant. I would like to go in your room. Uh, and I suspect that maybe you might say no, and yet, I also feel like maybe you wouldn't dare. I mean, here's the problem with like Facebook and Twitter. You know, everyone says, oh, it's changing the world, but not in a good way, you know? We're not connected with each other anymore. You know, tweeting? That's not having a conversation. What is that? No, you know? no. And then these people who do that shit, they hear you having a real conversation with your real buddies, your real pals, and they get all jealous and pissed off and they want to shush you. Yeah, right. And you know what else is bugging me about this guy? Huh. I cannot get past the fact that we're perfect strangers. He doesn't know me. I mean, for all this guy knows, I'm a psychopath in the trunk full of chainsaws, right? He shushes me because he doesn't like the volume of my conversation. Huh. Next thing he knows, he's chopped the bits in the basement somewhere, you know? Mm. Was that worth it? No. I mean, and I could be a man with a fistful of hammers. Right. And a trunk full of duct tape and zip ties. You know, this guy doesn't know me. Is he crazy? Yeah, it's very upsetting to me that he didn't consider any of that. Guys, this whole thing has been a wash, all right? Yeah. Let's just get out of here because there's no way that we're going to get revenge on those guys without Psycho Pete. Yeah, I've been humiliated enough. Yeah, yeah we were. Son of a bitch. Oh. You bastard. You bastard. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh. Dennis, you're coming out hot. <laughs> I am the king of the minions, not Tim Murphy, not that jerk-off idiot, you jerk-off! What the hell are you doing, man? She rejected me. Me, Frank, me, the coolest guy in the history of this goddamn school. Oh, they're all gonna pay. They're all gonna pay the ultimate price. Whoa! Why do you keep all that shit in your car? Fetish, fetish shit! I, 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 I like to bind, I like to be bound! I not... <laughs> Duct tape, zip ties, tools. I have, I have to have my tools. Why do you keep all this shit in your car? Finish shit, you know. I like to bind. <laughs> dude, wait, wait, wait. dude, what's all that stuff you have? 
Sorry, Mark. Why, why do you have all that stuff hidden in your car? What is that? <laughs> you don't have to turn it off. Okay. Mark. The fast stuff. I like to bind. I like to beep. <laughs> What's all that stuff you're grabbing, dude? <laughs> <laughs>
master of karate and friendship for everyone. Demon, demon. Oh, nice. We'll get the fighter of the night, man. Oh, champion of the sun. Favorite. Peel this apple for me, please. No, no, I'm not gonna peel an apple for you. But Mac always does it for me. Why does Mac peel your apples for you? He doesn't like for me to eat the apples with the skin on it. He says the skin's loaded with toxins. Okay, well, good news. Mac's not here. Well, I know he's not here, and that's why I need you to do it for me. Please, please. Oh, Jesus. Just eat it with the skin I on it. I do not like it with the skin, Dee. I'm not allowed to eat it with the skin. I'm not allowed! Oh, my God. All right. If you just shut up, I will peel the apple for you the way that Mac likes you to eat it. Give it to me. Give it to me! I'll do it the way that Mac insists. Okay? Yeah. For something for my daughter. Your daughter? Yeah, you know, safe, slow vehicle, good starter car. Good starter car. That's right. I have contained my rage for as long as possible, but I shall unleash my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves! Be gone, vile man! Be gone from me! A starter car! This car is a finisher car! A transporter of gods! The golden god! I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds!